So I accidentally got into uh, uh, photography. Um, I had made my mind up that I wanted to start back doing uh, highlight videos. And so if I was gonna do high, highlight videos, I wanted to make sure make sure it was of high quality. Um, and so I knew I had to have the right camcorder. At least I thought I had to have the right camcorder, but when I asked around on how to, what kind of equipment I needed to uh, accomplish my goal of high quality uh, highlight videos, everyone kept pointing me to a camera. And so one day I just, I think I was in the gym and I just started taking pictures and the pictures didn't look bad. And then I kind of just started doing more research on photography, sports photography, action photography, and just kept picking up tips from there. And I actually um, was at the uh, Collierville Dragon Fire tournament. And there was a gentleman there taking pictures. And so I just went over there and started asking him different questions. And he actually he turned out to be a, a photographer, like a contract photographer for one of the area newspapers. And so I just, just sat there with him and just started taking pictures. And we would look at each other pictures and, and he would critique me and, and give me different tips. And from there it was on. Um, and so that's kind of, that's how I started doing photography and for po photos, pictures to Memphis girls basketball, and it and I it, it brings a different aspect to Memphis girls basketball that I like. Oh, so I was looking for I was looking for something else to do. You know, I was kind of like, look, I need more hobbies than basketball. Cause basketball. <laughs> just took over my life and it was a point where I had to step back and, and like look I'm getting older I don't want to be an old lady still running around with a basketball having accomplished anything don't have any other interests or goals or you know and so I just looked up on photography and of course I take basketball pictures but it, it is it's still another it's it's a hobby it, it's it, it's something else to kind of it keeps me involved in basketball but I'm not actually in the gym coaching or training or instructing. I'm just sitting on the sideline and just enjoying watching basketball. I've been um, following Memphis girls basketball since 2001, since I got back to Memphis. And so now I get to help create the memories. People can come back to memphisgirlsbasketball.com um, 10, 20 years from now and look at pictures. Um, the players whose pictures I'm taking, they can come back to the website 10, 20, 50 years from now and show their kids and grandkids pictures of them actually playing basketball or, or an awesome shot of them playing basketball. So it's really, it's really quite, it's, 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 it's a good thing. It's a good thing, and so I'm not. I'm not bad either. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing to to see. I, I amaze myself of the photos that I take. So it, it, it's 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 weird that I'm doing some of the things that my dad did for me. To be honest, I probably wouldn't even be taking pictures. I wouldn't be doing highlight videos and being at games and filming games. I've been doing highlight videos since about 2005. Uh, I was creating highlight videos back then, but my dad did this for me. Um, before he started filming all my games, he, he takes pictures and he used to take pictures, uh, pictures of me playing basketball. And so, and, and, and I'm happy he did that for me. I didn't realize the impact of what the impact he was making on my life and how in return I'm doing it this time making the impact of players in Memphis area I'm making that impact on their lives and, and you know adding value to them so dad thanks thanks a lot dad love ya <laughs>